What's up everybody, welcome back to Meetup Gaming, my name is Ronald, this is the best channel that nobody watches except a few special people like yourselves and today we're gonna be continuing our coverage, or I should I, I should say I am continuing the coverage, <laughs> for the 1100 AD uh, tournament, and we're still in the route, round 8 of things, um, in this battle we're gonna see um, the duel between Black Knight and Padawan. Uh, Black Knight is gonna play as Armenia in this first battle and then we have um, the Teutonic Knights on the side of Padawan. Let's see what they brought to the table. It's a best of three if you don't remember from the previous uh, videos or if you um, are new to this channel or these videos. Let's see the setup. I already like what I see here. The problem is the obvious that there's no skirmishers. Uh, let's see what the Armenians brought. Okay, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see these guys like to put some spears in front of their horses. Which is a good tactic, but... Yeah, when everybody does it, it, it starts to be the standard. And then you have to work yourself around it. Okay. So, let's see. We have four skirmishers. Um, yeah, two of each. Eastern Light Archers. Range 165. Yeah, these guys are a little armored Armenian uh, archers. They are better. But let's check them out. You got the typical archer. Two of them. Then you have the heavier guys. Uh, these guys are probably decent in a melee fight as well. Especially like... Because if you don't know how... Um, 1100 AD works like uh, cavalry charges are very strong but after the initial charge uh, they get pinned down and then they start losing the fight so you have to continuously charge the troops if you want to get maximum out of your cavalry otherwise if you leave them to f leave them in the fight they will get smashed up okay so we got two two of these archers um, on the flanks we have Armenian and Eastern Spearman, yes. Have a nice combo. Let's see what the stats are. Better morale, more damage, less charge bonus, but they're spears, so and more ar more arm uh, armor. Charge bonus on on spears are or is a useless stat to look at. We get Azat Knights four of them and the general there was some sort of misunderstanding on the discord but i think it's been it's been worked out because the general is like theoretically it would be the fifth unit of the same type and only four are allowed in the tournament rules anyway we hope that that one's worked out. So we have a lot of cavalry. Five horses, plus horse archers, armored horse archers. Yeah, these guys look good. Um, and then in the center... Armored axe warriors. Okay. These units look very good. They're awesome. Now, I wonder though, like, what's their charge bonus? 22, that's not that good. Really, weapon 39, 47. Health 80. 80 base morale, armor 80. Okay. They're better than the Germanic swords. Elite defense. Okay. So that's the Armenians. Pretty strong army. I like the setup as well. There's another axe warrior. Wait. Is that, are those five? That's. Ah. No. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's solid lineup. The center is strong with the axemen. Let's see how it turns out against the Teutonic Knights, uh, which don't have skirmishers. 
and they have uh, five horses so they are outmatched but the sixth horse for the armenians is a horse archer let's see what we got here teutonic sergeants teutonic knights in front of them they have germanic spearmen medium spearmen mm -hmm. this is a pretty wide setup here on the right we'll see uh, what the objectives are there yeah same setup here nice then we have a shit ton of skirmishers oh no wait oh, okay dismounted teutonic night guard for for the general that can be a little bit dangerous but yeah it depends Germanic swords, Germanic long axes, Germanic swords, Germanic swordsmen. These guys are armored. They look a little. They should be looking a little bit different. Yeah, they look cool. We got a couple of spears in the back now. I don't know. If you ask me, I would change the setup here a little bit I would put the spears up front because let the spears take the initial shit and then you charge with the axes from the rear from the spears rear I mean and that would work out better for you because for just for a simple comparison charge bonus you see is 35 let's see 40 uh, 24 this is a weaker side but look at this 24 24 and it's like spears they can't it's not the same okay let's have a look and observe okay actually let's start and observe what's going on here okay we're gonna see the black knight's perspective here i mean yeah he can move freely because there's no enemy skirmishers so he can push his lines a little bit and um any of these guys have uh, pillars? I don't know if they have pillars. Some some of the troops have pillars, but you cannot see them. There's no ammunition tab, like there is in Attila. I'd say the cavalry, like the charge is massive as opposed to the armenians but the melee attack is higher for the armenians so let's see he's gonna try to send the, the horses into the opening but they're gonna be get caught so he's very wisely changing directions wait who is firing it almost looked like it was coming wait ah they have hunters okay yeah, he has hunters. There's some Germanic, it's Germanic archers or hunters they're called and you can't see them. That's why, yeah, of course he has. Okay. I don't know how many he has. I only saw one so far. Okay, so he's trying to do it like there's no archers. I see only one troop. I see only one troop and these guys are already getting shredded to pieces. That's why it's not advantageous to don't have any skirmishers or to have a limited number of them or at least if you're in the spot of uh, of the teutonic knights like the first thing you do is to just charge at them that's one of the best things that you can do to counter their ability but look at this and keep in mind not only the kills count because there's more depletion On the flanks, some of the spears are getting engaged. Okay, I see. There might be two archer troops, or it might be only just one. These guys are already routing, because they're they've been shred to pieces. Now keep in mind, he only has five troops of melee. I mean. Uh, of swords I should say or axes I was moving up with the spears meanwhile on the flank 
managed to isolate one of the horses, which is very bad. And then he's gonna charge this guy as well. The spears are holding line for him, which is very good. On the left flank he's losing the melee fight, understandably so. It's kind of overwhelming. Oh man, these guys are getting shot to pieces. I sent some reinforcements with other horses. Yeah, now we can see the... He had two, okay. He had two Germanic hunters. They're gonna get charged. Now, I would like to see in a discharge at least one of them fall back try to save one of them that creates an opening here because he's outnumbered on the right flank um, Padawan and now he can use these horses to charge either the rear of the horses the rear of the lines or these guys in the center um, the Teutonic sergeants got overwhelmed now this guy is still holding um, I mean it is a spear fight so that means that they're gonna be hanging there for a while. In the center. These guys held the line very well. They're doing their job. They're holding the line long enough. I don't know. He should. He's not using this horse. He might forget. Have forgotten. He might have forgotten about it. Now he starts to use them. Yeah. Okay. I think this horse should charge here. Because everywhere else he's winning the the engagement. Here I think he's losing it. Yeah, losing decisively. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. I mean, obviously, when I point these things out, it's much easier when you watch the replay and you point this out. Oh, we should do this, he should do that. But when you're in the, in the thick of fight, in the thick of the battle, it's, it's of course very hard to do the, uh, to do that. That's a good charge. I don't know if it's gonna be enough though. We'll see. Yeah, he's doing very well to target the the general here. Eventually, the armored axe warriors gave up. Understandably so. There was initially three um, three melee troops attacking that side. The Teutonic knights are starting to cut off the Azat knights, so they're gonna need some reinforcements on the right. What are you doing? Charge the... Yeah, the moment you turn around... These guys are in trouble. Yeah, the charge was not enough. I mean, if I'm... Uh, Black Knight, I'm shooting the, the general to pieces here. He obviously wants to make sure also maybe to make sure that these troops are gonna be stay gone forever We're gonna have another charge here Okay, these fights finally gave up They did a good job though in holding the line he Sent some reinforcements he sent the horse archers on the right flank Might be out of ammo, so it's time to send these guys in. Yeah, the game is over. Effectively. One twenty two kills. Yeah, a lot of kills on the archers. Meanwhile, look at this five five. That's brutal. That is brutal. And you cannot just stand there and take the hits. Because as you saw, like one of the troops was completely useless. By the time it got to the fight, they almost instantly routed. Okay, one zero for Black Knight. Let's go ahead. Padawan will be playing, uh, I think, the Kingdom of Jerusalem now. While Black Knight will be the Holy Roman Empire. Let's see, we have five horses on one side, six on the other. Uh, some Pilgrim Spears, some um, 
What are those guys called? I think they're Arabic Spears, or what are they called? Jerusalem Spears, Pilgrim Spears, Pilgrim Spears. Militia with Spears? Is it this, these guys? I don't think so. Now I have a dilemma. The Pilgrim ones are... Uh, I know how they look. Okay, it might be the Militia with Spears. Because he had two troops. Um, better one has a very wide opening here. He has um, five horses. Again, the general is melee. A melee, very heavy spear infantry. Oh. I'd say too many spearmen here. I mean, there's no reason why he couldn't have chosen uh, a melee f um, infantry for the general. It would have been actually perfect behind these peers. Oh well, he knows better than I do. He knows his decisions. Armored cavalry, crusader knights, and some lancers. And in front of them we have the cheaper spear with militia. So we have a bunch of uh, melee troops here. We have a lot of pilgrim spears. We have some Jerusalem squad, which is a axeman, seems to be. Charge bonus 46, that's pretty good. But again, I would like to see the spears in front of the... Just the spears in front, and then the rest of them in the back. Now we have three archers instead of two for our young Padawan here. The Pilgrim archers are pretty strong. They're a good unit. Um, they have 175 range. The Holy Roman Empire has some longbowmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, after, I think after one of the fights, it was pretty obvious that having four longbowmen is very strong. It's not, it almost feels imbalanced to have so many longbows. So they restricted the longbows and the crossbows to one each. That's the max that you can bring. We have some standard archers. They are outranged by the crossbow. Wait, what? By the pilgrim archers, right? Oh no, I was reading the pil. Yeah, okay. So he has one. Yeah, I, I made a mistake there. I was assuming that three pilgrim archers are in the house, but there's only two, and then one crossbow, which has 175 range. Um, the longbows have 220, right? They have insane range. Insane range. They have lower numbers, but they surely make up, make up for that. In the real world situations, or in the game real world situation, you, you get what I mean. We have some urban spear militia, so cheaper spears on the flanks, I think. Covering the um, horses. And we have a couple of archers, crossbow, and longbow. Let's see the main line. Same Germanic swords, or similar to what the Teutons have, usually. Four lines. Same strategy, same four lines. Same four skirmishers. And one, yeah, one line behind. To possibly reinforce whatever is needed. Um... But again, I think I would like to, yeah, but he would lose the, the skirmishing fighter, but I, I would still like to see the skirmishers up front. Because now the same thing is gonna happen if, um, like regardless who pushes first, the same thing is gonna happen. These guys are gonna eat the bullets. And that's one more reason why should put the you should put the spears up front, because they are basically fodder for the cannon. You don't usually charge or do the killing with the spears, they're just there to hold the line. And you putting the melee uh, infantry up front, I think is a mistake. Because their armor, let, let's just see their armor. What, 45? 68, you see? 
um, 68 and then the same stuff yeah 68 70 like there's no reason why you should put these guys up front these guys are the damage dealers so you put them behind the spears usually and that's a better idea of how uh, one should do the things but you know everybody has his own way and uh, we all have to still learn and stuff like that so those are just suggestions and ideas and I'm not gonna always be right so keep that in mind so let's see looks like black knight is gonna take the initiative again now we see some changes here it's gonna send a spear there I wonder why we're gonna leave the general open here a little bit what's going on here switching the position of some of the troops Sending one spear, but why make these guys run and get tired instead of just pulling everybody else here? Yeah, that's what he's doing now. Okay. Look at these crossbows, man. It, it, this is just. Pfft. It's just. <laughs> these cross. The longbows are just obscenely good. Damage wise and range wise. And look at this. This is exactly what you don't want to happen. For the heavy melee infantry to, to get shot to shreds. Unless you go ahead and charge, which he's trying to do. Okay, let's see. Looks like we're gonna have a fight here. And uh, the Holy Romans will out uh, outnumber them here. The same cannot be said on the left flank though. If I'm Jerusalem, I pull one horse here and two on the flanks and push with the spears and then try to hit them in the side. Take some advantage, have some advantage with those numbers. Crossbows are gonna target the other crossbows, okay. So we have a skirmisher on skirmisher fight. I think this is a mistake not to push some of the side so you can outflank them. Like he does, you see, this is yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. Um, Padawan should do the same thing that Black Knight does on the left flank. Like it just makes sense to have this kind of setup. You push one on the on the right, and then actually you can push. I, I think you I should you should push two on the left, uh, and then charge them, because keeping this guy here in the middle, I think he's actually going there. But if you keep one in the middle, there's just no use for him, you know. Instead, Padawan, he's just keeping the man here instead of he has the advantage here he should press his advantage and that's exactly what he's gonna do here like okay black knight is reading my mind or i am reading his whatever meanwhile the skirmishing fight is still going on now keep in mind these guys already took some damage from the from the archers the regular archers have broken We have a charge here that's gonna protect the archers, but there's one more coming and there's nothing that the Jerusalem player can do about it. It's gonna counter charge, but then this ar this that horse is just gonna do the same. And it's a shame that he's not doing something here with these horses. The horse is just sitting in one place is one of the worst things that you can do in a in my opinion, in my humble opinion, of course. You can do in a multiplayer battle. They was they should always be moving and harassing one way or another. Main lines are slamming into each other. Yeah, these guys are gonna give up eventually. The main line of the Holy Romans will be in trouble. He's trying to protect his archers. But he, yeah, they're gonna get, he's getting charged here and he's not reacting. Now he's reacting, which is fine. But he's gonna take out the pilgrim archers. So Black Knight seems to be okay with losing or just holding the line on the flanks for a while so that he can take out the archers. Which is good because now it gives him the advantage of having the only archers 
on the field. Um, there's still some for Jerusalem, of course. The main lines are gonna be unconcerned here. Looks like they're winning, which is good for him. I don't know how much these guys are gonna hold under these circumstances. I think he should get out of there because the spears are gonna charge him. These horses are buying precious time now for him because, uh, well, they get pinned down there. He's maneuvering with two horses here and he's also shooting them in the back. This is very valuable. Like you have the clog, uh, the longbows shooting the horses. Um, luckily for him, there his no uh, noble Germanic horses are holding holding the line for him, so he can shoot them. those guys gave up now it will be time to charge the archers and the crossbows but there's nothing left on the front line um, we have some spears here that he can push back main lines are holding but on the flanks Padawan um, got outmaneuvered. And he's not using the troops here. These spears have been sitting here for a while now. So, yeah, so obviously, in order to be good in multiplayer battles, you have to have the ability to multitask. The better your multitask multitasking, the better. better your chances to win. That's very important. And don't let those horses sit by and do nothing. Even if you just move them slowly, make them walk on the flanks, uh, um, widen the lines, because then maybe the enemy will overstretch as well. And he had the advantage cavalry-wise. He had one extra cavalry, so he could have definitely made a play there. He didn't, unfortunately, and that, that was his loss. In the end, Black Knight uh, wins this matchup. 2-0, congratulations to him. He's gonna advance to the next uh, stage of the competition. Um, Padawan, he might do better in the next one. He has some lessons to learn, as we do all, especially me. <laughs> I'll see you again next time. Until then, stay safe, stay clean, and always stay strong.